This short video talks about airline history. In 2014, IATA was celebrating the 100th anniversary of commercial flight. It means 100 years since the first passenger traveled in St. Petersburg, Florida, US. But let's have a little longer perspective by looking at the last 2000 years. Basically, will be divided into two parts. First, we will be quickly analyzing just 2000 years, and then we will be looking at the last 100 years. By having a quick overview of the last 2000 years of history of aviation, we can start saying that the Chinese use the kite as the first flying artifact. Then, introducing a lot of technology, the hot air balloon came up, so it could uh, fly autonomous. Some hundred years later, this hot balloon was sophisticated by the Montgolfier brothers in France, and they create the first air balloon, but with air passengers on board. So then we can start to see something closer to uh, the airlines we see today. The milestones for modern aviation can be found in 1903 when the Wright brothers uh, first the first flight. So this could be a highlight summary for the last 2000 years. Last 100 years of uh, airline history have three milestones with important implications. First one is World War I. Second is World War II, and third is September 11. The two wars had a big implication in the speed of development of aircraft. Basically, during those wars, uh, aircraft were uh, developed in a faster way than normally. The third milestone, September 11, had an implication on security for uh, airline business. When we look at back, uh, we're not many passengers what were transport. Basically, the first things that we started to transport, it was mail. Of course, soon after, that mail was combining with some passengers. But it was not until 1940 that the revenue generated by those passengers was greater than the revenue generated by the mail. When we look at scheduled flights today, for instance, a flight between Istanbul and London, operated by uh, Turkish Airlines on a daily basis, this is something which is called regular flights. But it's something which is not new. We, if we look back at 1925, uh, already they create a scheduled flights between New York and Chicago five times a week. So scheduled flights of today is something which comes from so many years back. Size safety standards we, we have today is not the same as we had uh, in the past. And basically, at the beginning, the standards of safety were quite poor. The period between the World War I and September 11 sometimes can be called maturity period. It's a bit before that. Uh, and because we didn't have wars, the uh, aviation keep developing and reach a, a, a good standards. But basically the point I would like to, to highlight is the 1978, because is where in the US, the airline business was first deregulated. But what deregulation means? Basically, before that, airlines had a lot of ties, so they, had, they don't have freedom about the price they could charge, they don't have freedom about the destinations they could fly to. And many of those restrictions were removed with the regulation. This regulation didn't only happen in the US, but later happened in Europe and in some other places, including Turkey as well. One important consequence of the deregulation was the starting of new business model. And basically, the low-cost airline model was born after the regulation. If we look at the last 100 years of Turkey uh, aviation, 
we can say that the first flight, if we look at the last 100 years of Turkish aviation, the first domestic flight was between Eskesehir and Ankara in 83. The first international flight was between Istanbul and Athens. And in the meantime, uh, Turkish Airlines, the only operator, was started with five aircraft and bought up to 30 aircraft in 1945. Now, in 2013, Turkish Airlines, in this case, is flying to more countries than any other airline in the world. So we can see a big achievements in the uh, airline business of Turkey. As I mentioned before, uh, the regulation was a major milestone in airline business and one of the main consequences of the regulation was the starting of low cost carriers. And the first one was Southwest in the US, followed by other ones in Europe such as Ryanair, EasyJet and so on. So among the different type of airlines, we uh, mainly look at two types. We look at full service carriers, as for instance, Turkish Airlines, British Airways in the UK, or low cost carriers, which was the one uh, started after the regulations. In this case, we have EasyJet, Ryanair, Southwest Airlines, or Pegasus Airlines in Turkey. If we do the summary of the airline history, we have to concentrate on the last 100 years. The two milestones of the wars are followed by the starting of authorities and associations. And one was IATA, which is airline association started just after the second war, which still exists with about almost 85% of airline members around the world. An important milestone was the deregulation, which started in the US, followed by other uh, countries. And one of the major impact was the starting of the low-cost carriers. Thank you very much.